All right, this footage you are seeing, um, this is my very first time go and do crossbow hunting. So there's going to be a lot of animals you're going to see me missed um, up with the crossbows. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. This, the point of this video is actually about the large tar. Everything what we know about the large tar. Oh boy. I am um, currently, it is, oh my word, it's almost half past nine. <whistles> in no midnight, of course. I mean, in the evening or I don't know, English. All right. Anyway. Oh. Please say I'm finished it at... Okay, it, it, it's not the point of this video. Point of the video is large star. Okay, let's start this. Ha! Ah, hit you. Uh, okay, so... Uh, today's video is about the large star. Everything what we know about the large star, but... Other stuff too. So... I think we also need to talk about way back. Before the idea of Sotabatan. I think it would make sense if we talk about the release of Tirarara. I think that's a good idea. So when Tirarara was released, or I think being released, I don't know much about it, but what I have heard from people is people want the large tar or the Himalayan tar to be part of Tirarara, to be one of the species you can find on Tirarara. That did not happen. I think that place can go to the Shamwa. But immediately after that, people just want the large star as a backfield animal. If you don't know what is a backfield animal uh, or backfield species, it is just where the hunter call the wild goes and add another animal to a map. For example, in Hirschfelden, there's two animals that is backfield on Hirschfelden. The ringneck pheasant and the European rabbit. They weren't on Hirschfelden on day one. They have been, they have come to Hirschfelden a few months or a few years after the release of Hirschfelden. That's an example of a backfield animal. But luckily, we did end up getting the large star. Not on Tirara, not in New Zealand, but in an Asian map, Nepal or Sarapatan. Yeah, great thing. The first time we it's been confirmed the Lodge Star is coming to the Hunter Call the Wild was actually the I think yeah, the the very first official trailer of Sarapatan. And then after the release of the first trailer of Sarapatan, immediately a new section in the Hunter Call the Wild website has been released. And this section in their website talks about Sarapatan, what to expect from Sarapatan. And then in the website, it talks about what animals can we expect in Sarapatan. And one of the, it says is the large tar in some of these regions known as the Great One. So immediately that confirmed the large tar is the next Great One. Because actually, we are, now we need to go even more back. Um, so I think a week or two weeks before the release of the official trailer of Sarabatan, EW has gone and said that um, for the very first time, the next great one in the Hunt to Call the Wild is not a base game animal, which means you can't find it on Hirschfelden or Leighton Lakes, two non-DLC maps. You can only find it on a DLC map, which is Sarabatan or different maps at that time we theorize. And they also said it's a great one that no one will expect it. Everyone think like a lion, mule deer, reindeer, but actually it was an animal no one expected. Heck, I theorized it was a must deer. <laughs> that was me, I just, I should made a video on that. Anyway, on the subsection on the Hunter Call the Walls website, when they say the large star known in these region as the great one, that confirms kind of that the large star is the next great one, kind of, because people would say, eh, it doesn't mean the large star is a great one. It just probably means that the large star is just known as the great one in Nepal, not in this region of Nepal. Not, it's not really the next great one. But then leaks of photos got released, and these leaks of photos showed the Himalaya tar as the next great one so immunity everyone's like okay yeah the, the large door is the next great one 
Hands down, that's the next great one. So far, what we know about the variation of the Lost Star, there's seven variation, but I have heard, listened and heard that not all of the great one variation is probably going to save. There's maybe less than seven great one variation or more than uh, seven great one variation. The developers are still choosing which one to keep and which one to delete or whatever. And yeah, as you can see at the back of the, well, on the screen, I show you each picture of how each great one looks like and what's the name of each great one. I think my favorite would probably be the Scar. And actually, let's talk about Scar quickly. Uh, the Scar great one. Uh, um, Jaxi, he my rumor, or it just he talks about nonsense. But it, what I'm hearing from Jaxi is it kind of sounds like he is saying that there might be a mission on Sarabatan when talking about um, it might give us a great one through a, a mission. Maybe there will probably be a story on Sarabatan, what we're going to find that talks about how this large tower got these scars. What's the story? Uh, and Jaxi never said it was from a tiger or it fell down a cliff. I think it's a tiger. Most likely a large tower just unexpectedly move a bit too south. Because now let's go to the next topic. Where can large towers be founded? So Nepal has... Oh, Sarabatan. Sarabatan has three regions. And each region, the elevation is getting higher and higher and higher. On the top part of the map, that's the area where you can find the Himalaya Tower and the highest uh, point in Sarbatan. Um, and that's also where you can find the Snow Leopard. The Snow Leopard is also discovered in the northern part of Sarbatan. And then quickly, we don't know what is the max weight of the Himalaya Tower. We know it's a class 4 animal and we don't know the trophy rating too. Then the the fur variations of the Himalaya tar. I'm not going to go through the common, but I think the one uncommon fur type of a Himalaya tar is the white, and then the rare of a Himalaya tar, albino Himalaya tar. And then there's also looks like to be a black variation of the Himalaya tar. Anyway, back to the albino footage. So we can immediately see what's the difference between a male and a female uh, Himalaya tar. We can see that males have a more woolly beard around their necks, at their necks. The females, they don't have it, but the males do. And then we got news about the Himalaya tar. And this is also big news with the great one. Not only, like I said, the Himalaya Tar is the first non-base game animal to be a great one. But it looks like the Himalaya Tar is the first great one to not have a drink time. To not have a drink time. So you can't find this at the lake. You need to go and hunt this in the region. So Grinds is going to work very differently now. Um, of course, there is grinds for mountain goats, chamois, since they no longer have a drink time and you need to hunt them in the mountains. But the more famous are YouTubers, they don't go and do grinds in the mountains. They just go on multiplayer, hopping on multiplayer, of course, and try and track down one. Or just go for the easier um, animals to grind, which have a drink time. But yeah, this is going to be a difficult great one. I think the Himalaya Tower might be the diff most difficult great one to get. It is possible. I could be wrong. Maybe they're more easier than a red deer. Who knows? Let's see what would happen. Of course, this is going to be like a month. So after the information, I learn about the drink time, the fur variation, of a Himalaya tar. Immediately in my back of my head. I was like. This is of course my personal idea. It's not really true. Just fan things. The Himalaya tar. Is what if a fair goat. And a mountain goat gone. And had a child together. That's a Himalaya tar. 
looks like the the coding or the rares of the hunter called the wild because listen here's the um here's the few things if black variation is rare i don't actually didn't pay attention i could go back but i'm lazy and it's currently all right oh yeah it's pass half past nine the black variation of a feral goat is rare okay rare i'm lucky to have a black variation of a feral goat then an albino himalaya tar Compare it to the white Himalaya tar, it kind of looks like similar to how people have problems getting an albino mountain goat. Because an albino mountain goat and a white mountain goat looks extremely similar, okay? Extremely similar. And that's why the albino feral goat is one of the most difficult Rare. to get in the hunter called the wild. And then the, the sound of the um, Himalaya tar sounds like... A feral goat okay it sounds like a feral goat and then the final one the himalaya tar don't have a drink time i already said that but the mountain goat also don't have a drink time so i think the himalaya tar looks similar as a feral goat but it's gonna act the way how a mountain goat looks like i mean acts like so yeah mommy and daddy being a feral goat and a mountain goat and that's a Himalaya tar. Yeah. But anyway, I think I really give you enough information about the Himalaya tar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, This is a bit difficult. I don't know if I would ever get a diamond um, Himalaya tar or a mountain goat. And actually, speaking about mountain goats, I'm going to have a footage. I'm going to show you one last footage of a mountain goat I got. Um, But yeah. Anyway. Good. And I'd hear you. Bye. Look how huge those horns are. I'm gonna shoot that level four. Huge horns. 107. Oh, man. That feels like a troll, man. That really feels like a troll. But anyway, those horns. This will be the biggest mountain goat I would have for a while.